Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening. I'm Scott Beadle with Big Fox News. Some test results are in, and the Shimon County Health Department has provided an update on Legionnaire's disease in the area. After testing at several patients' homes for the Legionella bacteria, the results came in negative. The health department says that they are also testing cooling towers, water tanks, and fountains. At least 11 cases of Legionnaire's disease have been confirmed in the county so far. The results from the other sites are still pending, and officials say that's because the bacteria grows slowly, so it could take weeks. County officials say there is no need for the public to be alarmed because Legionnaire's does not typically affect healthy people. However, if a person does have a respiratory illness, they should contact their physician. A Pennsylvania state senator facing child pornography charges has resigned. Republican state senator Mike Fulmer was brought up on the charges after police say they found images of child pornography on Fulmer's cell phone. Officials say that the investigation began with a tip from the social media site Tumblr. Officials were notified that the user had uploaded an image of child pornography and the authorities say they traced that user to Fulmer's home in Lebanon, PA. Fulmer, who is a married grandfather of seven, had his phone searched and police say they found more child pornography on it. Democratic Governor Tim Wolf called for Fulmer's resignation this morning. In the coming weeks, the community will start to see the design themes emerge in the ongoing Cultural Connector project. Officials say that project will upgrade safety for pedestrians. But another goal of the project is to improve the city aesthetically. The city says that the roundabout will contain four large rocks, representing the flat-top hills surrounding Elmira. Additionally, four wire sculptures of birds that have been found nesting along the Shimon River will be installed. The Cultural Connector Project, which is at the intersection of North Main and 3rd Streets, is slated to be complete by November. While boating season may be coming to an end, it's never too early to start thinking about next year. Stabane County announced that they will be holding three boating classes beginning this October. The course is designed as a comprehensive boating course, teaching the fundamentals of a safe boating operation, and has been approved by the National Association of Boating Law Administrators. Here on your screen are the three dates where the course is being offered. When attendees complete the class, they'll receive a New York State Boater Safety Certificate. The classes are limited to 30 students, so do call ahead if you want to sign up to save your spots. Meteorologist Kim Walker is up next with your forecast for the rest of the week. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. It's been a gorgeous day with plenty of sunshine. Temperatures barely climbed into the 70s. Tomorrow's going to be just a tad warmer. We're going to stay dry and comfortable as high pressure still in control of our weather. We're going to start off with some patchy fog, though, and then mostly sunny for the rest of the day. Again, it's going to be a pleasant day. Gradual warming through the weekend, and then we have another cold front that will bring the rain chance back, and those temperatures will start to drop. So it's going to feel a little bit chilly by early next week. As we head into the next hour or so, we are expecting those temperatures to continue to drop, and then in the overnight, down into the 40s. So it's going to be a chilly start to our day tomorrow. 42, the low in Elmira, 43 in Corning, and also in Bath, 43 in Perkinsville, and in Watkins Glen, around 46 degrees. Mainly clear tonight, and of course, that really allows those temperatures to drop down close to the dew points, which are in the 40s right now. Tomorrow, a little bit warmer than today, but still uh, very close to normal with highs around 73 in Elmira, 73 in Corning, and a little bit warmer in Watkins Glen at 75 degrees, but cooler in Perkinsville at around 71. It's going to be a beautiful day, quiet day, and we're going to stay with the quiet weather through the weekend. Lots of sunshine, but we do warm up by Friday around 80 degrees, 83 on your Saturday, and then as we move into Sunday, clouds will start to increase ahead of a cold front that will be moving into our our area. Our moisture will start to increase, so overnight lows will be climbing to around 63 degrees, a little bit more cloud cover Sunday night into Monday. We could have a few showers Sunday night and then a few thunderstorms on Monday, which will keep us cool. 
around 75 degrees for the afternoon high. And then once that cold front comes in, drier air will start to move in as well. And so it's going to be chilly on Tuesday with highs around 69. But a quick warm up close to normal on Wednesday with lots of sunshine starting off around 48 degrees. So again, it's going to be another chilly morning with highs around 73 on your Wednesday afternoon. So we're going to have beautiful days for the upcoming days. And then it looks like rain chances return for early next week with that cold front coming in. Yeah, of course, we've got fall starting next week, but it looks like uh, summer's going out with a bang here this weekend. Yeah, it's going to be just beautiful, though. All right. Thanks, Kim. All right. Thanks for joining us on Big Fox News. Have a great night.